Hello and welcome back to some more Mario Party 3 Hard Mode. Uh, we just finished the first map. Uh, we won. It was nice. Uh, we didn't continue on because we want the story in this part. We got an A rank on Chilly Waters, as you do. We'll save. That was an amazing victory, Yoshi. Allow me to give you the Witch Star Stamp. Wait a second. He is the best. How could you forget Wario's tremendous wit? You can't claim the Wit Star stamp yet. Okay, we're fighting. We're getting bonked. Finally, we shall decide in this in a one-on-one -on -one battle on Gate Guy's dual map. So, here begins the dual map. Uh, no. So I was originally going to listen to that, and then I I was recording it, and it was really boring. I was hoping they'd go over each partner. Uh, they didn't. Welcome, Yoshi. The dual round one is for the Wit Star Stamp. You'll play on this map this in this round. Gate Guy, a map with shortcuts. Now, let's meet the challenger. No one is more cunning than me, Wario. Finally, well, let's go over the rules. In story mode, the number of turns is set to 20. The handicap option is off. Let's battle it out, fair and square. In this minigame setup, all minigames are selected. Are you ready? Yes. So, dual maps were an interesting experiment that I don't think quite worked out, but they were still, like, fun enough. Like, I can't complain too much about them. They're, they're good, but not... Like, it makes sense that they never showed up again. Like, not, not a surprise. But, uh... I've been waiting for you. This is Gate Guy. First, we have to decide on the turn order. I'll spin around and we'll see which side comes up. By turn heads, Yoshi goes first. If it turns out tails, I... then Wario goes first. Let the Millennium Star spin begin. It's decided. The first in the blue corner is Yoshi. And moving second in the red corner is Wario. Next, you must choose where your partner will walk. Partners, come here. Front. We're putting the, the boo in front. Finally, I'll give you each ten coins. Use them wisely. I'll let the games begin. So, uh, we do not want to go to the center. Happening space. Well, that's an awful way to start this. All right. We are penniless and without a boo. Uh, there are not very many mini games in this, by the way, or in this mode, so. We don't have any money, so we're not doing Game Guy. Wario is taking over all of the spaces by my base. We don't have money, so we can't go that way. Maybe I should have checked the map and seen that we were getting a tap. Then I got the happening space, the odds aren't that high that we're gonna, like, lose 
lose out. But as far as partners go, like, bob -omb is one of the worst, and Boo is one of the best, so... We're, we're doing okay. Uh, well, we got a snowman. I think we put it up front. Uh, oh, okay, we can actually check what they do here. His attacks aren't very powerful, but he has a decent stamina. His low pay is A+, plus. yes. He really packs punch, he does two damage, one stamina, two money, hey, he's fine. Toad is fine, has the ability to provide coin theft. It's more helpful than you might think. He can do that? He can jump over your opponent's helper, but he only does one damage. He has one HP. You lose him after one attack, and he costs three. He's not good. Boo, on the other hand, costs three, does two damage. And apparently he returns damage I've taken back to my opponent. That's cool, I guess. Uh, he's all stamina. Can't do damage. Uh, Snippet is good in the late game. Uh, Piranha Plant is pretty good. Also good for the late game where you have money. If you don't have money, you don't keep them very long, so. Like, and Chain Chomp is pretty darn good, even with for that price. Uh, no destroy. Okay, Thwomp is good. Lobs a snowball at most, most distant opponent, and his stamina makes him a reliable partner. All right, so we want him in front. Usually he's Baby Bowser. That's not true, he's Koopa Kid. Uh, can transform into Bowser and deal triple damage. Like, he has a whiff chance, and that's kind of the problem. Alright. Anyways, we're putting this guy in front. Uh, we're gonna look at the map this time. So we got a mini game, it looks like, if we go to the right. So we'll go to the right. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully we win. Hopefully we win. Vine with me shouldn't be that bad. It's not a guaranteed win, but... It's also not a guaranteed loss, so we take it as a win. Um, it's probably a loss the first time, just to get the timing right. Right there, like that. What is the timing? There is no timing right there. All right. There we go. Luckily, Wario looks like he's having trouble, too. We somehow got this? Maybe? Unless he, like, does a huge comeback here. That was really ugly on Ion, but we take those, I guess. Alright. Well, he got a 10, so unless he goes reverse, we're... Not doing great here. But he's gonna lose his money quick, so that's good. Uh, I don't think we care about that because Mr. Blizzard throws over him. And he won't deal damage to Mr. Blizzard going backwards, so. Like, that's fine. Lose 10 coins, just like me. Really? take that. How did he get two tens in a row? This game cheats. Oh, 
He's coming for me. Oh, but he might... Well... Does he come back with all the money or does he lose it all? He lost it all. Alright, let's go. would love to see it. We're going through the shortcut this time. Actually, are we? He still has his buddies. Like, there's zero reason to go through the shortcut. Because the snowman hits the farthest one, right? So, zero reason. When that counts down, it's just a mini game. It doesn't matter. Nice. Landed right between two Wario spots. Coward. No coins to lose. That's BS. Give me the ten coins. We're looking for someone for behind? I don't love it. All right, let's look at the map. Uh, six spaces is a ra a chance to lose it all. Four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Four. Okay, so we're definitely going down. We land on a reverse space, which means we crash into Wario. Guaranteed. This penniless warrior. Oh, and we land right on the space. Oh, that's beautiful. Get him, bob -omb. Yeah. Now we never have to pay for the bob -omb. Like that. That was already a win. We got our money back. We never had to pay for bob -omb. This is... That went great. And all we have to do is roll a five. Oh, never mind. A four. <laughs> What? Sure game. Sure. That's... That's some crap. Pardon my language, but... I mean, I guess we're attacking him again. But still. He just stole, like, all... What, three or four of my spaces? Yes. Wait, you only do one damage? Well, that's... That's not fair. That was my space, I think. I mean, we're gonna beat him up again, but... Or we should. Though, I think it's probably correct to put someone new in front just because he's only doing one damage and he currently has no partner. We got the lucky roulette, which happens every three times. All right, so we want... Uh, yes. <laughs> I was gonna say, we want the piranha plant. We got the piranha plant. Wario's dead. This is a, this is a fast episode. I was not prepared. You never know how long these dual maps are gonna be. I guess we could start the next map. Game over. Like we could. We probably should. Do you like the first five turns? Why not? Very well played. Let's view the results. First, let's look at the remaining heart pieces. <sighs> Oof. And now, at last, the results are in. It's time to announce the winner. <laughs> Goodbye, Wario. You hate to see it. All right. The winner is Yoshi.
Look at that boo. We never got to use, but that's fine. I don't, I don't see a reason to check the detailed results. Let's continue on. Gate guy, S rank. Love to see it. We'll save. Yeah, replace the data. All right. Actually, I think we are going to end it here. Um, just because it makes it easier to just have one. The entire board play in one episode and the board play probably takes like 45 minutes so instead of it being an hour long episode if I contain both of them might as well just do one and then next time will be all of the deep blooper sea I think is where we're going next so that's fine uh so thanks for watching and until next time see ya